so today guys i have this amazing beautiful insane car that's 1994 mercedes sl320 w129 and it's uh, like almost brand new condition has only 59,000 miles and it's a one owner so it's not like really hard to find it's almost impossible to find unless you're trying to pay a lot of money and buy it as a classic car but is it a classic car i think it is it's insanely cool it has original paint on that those monoblocks we found them and put it on because the original rims they kind of ugly for this car but the condition of this it just it's just amazing. I have never seen a cell uh, 320 in this kind of condition. All the plastic, all the, the, the glasses, uh, pieces, the headlights, tail lights, you name it. Even the seats, they are in amazing, great condition, almost like brand new. And there is a lot of cool things from 90s about this beautiful Mercedes. I'm going to show it to you. But right now, I'm going to tell you this. That's just regular SL320. It is convertible. We do have a six-cylinder engine with 229 horsepower. And it's only taking about eight seconds to get from zero to 60. I think this car still can do it because it's a super low mileage for this beautiful car. And uh, what I like about this car, not only the key itself, the way they made it back in that, and we do have a IK, IK whatever port that's for the, the remote control. But besides that, when you turn on ignition and you can hear the fuel pump running under the car and it's making that noise, you know, that's kind of cool because you put in yourself a 90s where all the cars used to have a huge, huge parts like the on the engine there is a if it's airflow mass sensor, it's a huge like that. And uh, those fuel pumps, they used to put it right now inside the fuel tank, but before they used to do it outside. And basically this car, I'm pretty sure like uh, the W124 body has two fuel pumps located under the car. So you basically don't have to drop the fuel pump or you don't have to, you know, do more manipulation. If your fuel pump, one of them is gone, just replace it. If you feel like there is no power in the engine, just replace the fuel pump and you're going to be good to go. The filters, they are located right next to it. And besides that, it is a California car. So basically there is no rust, not at all. I mean, not even single point from 1994. And the cool point about the Mercedes, I, I'm actually, it's not the cool point, but there is a point. So when you see the uh, sticker, the original uh, barcode for the VIN number for the car, you always, I mean, not always, but sometimes, most of the time, you can see it's a previous year. So basically this car has dated as a November 1993, but when you scan the code, it goes as 1994. So whatever model next year, it's gonna be next year. Like my Jeep, for example, it's 2024, but we are still in 2023. That's what they used to do it time ago. And right now they're still doing it. So basically in 90s, all the famous people, all the rich people, even the uh, Princess Diana, she's been driving that kind of car and i think people been going crazy because the famous actors they've been buying it and it was huge demand i think right now we're coming to the point when this car it's already become a classic but it's going to be huge demand because they just falling apart they like they they're going to be not exist anytime soon it's hard to keep it maintained. It's hard to find the one like that with no rust in amazing condition. And it's record at 59,000 miles. So basically whatever job I'm gonna do with this car, like I'm gonna improve the, the roof, you know, fix the interior, maybe spend more money on this car, I'm gonna improve it. And basically the car itself, the value of this car, it's gonna increase. It's never gonna decrease again. And uh, this car is gonna be almost like investment. Not almost, it is gonna be always investment because it's just amazing condition. So what's going on with the roof? So basically all those cells, if you didn't know about it, they do have a two roof. So one of them, it's a hard top and you can remove it and put it in the garage. The other one, it's a soft top. And we try to open one. So basically we remove this top and try to open it, but it's not working properly. Basically those hinges, whatever pushing the roof up, they are leaking. Over the time the car been sitting with roof up, nobody, nobody use it and those seals, they start leaking. So what do we have to do right now? Remove those both hinges and send it. There is a lot of places who can replace it, the, those seals. So basically they're not doing brand new, but they're doing remanufacturing. That's what it's called when they're taking the part and uh, taking it apart 
and replacing those small seals or whatever needs to be replaced for the proper job. And uh, I'm just going to show you around, show you inside what's the technology used to be in the 90s, how the climate control work, and there is a lot of cool things. For example, the headlight washers, it's not only uh, water, we do have uh, wipers for the headlights. It's just insane. I mean, Volvo, Mercedes, they all used to do those in the 90s, but not anymore. But it's like super cool. It's insane. And for the US market, they've been doing a little bit different headlights. So the basically headlights on the sale in Europe, they are different from the one in the United States. I don't know why, but I think it's a regulation something used to be back in the 90s. But again, look at this amazing car. It just looks so nice and the car drives still so good so smooth transmission works properly engine not not misfiring doing any kind of noise but we do have a check engine light on and sooner or later we're going to fix it there is some air maybe maybe airflow mass needs to be not fixed uh needs to be cleaned up and that's it so like I said, the technology in the 90s, from the 90s on this Mercedes, they just insanely cool. Look at this. That's the headlight, right? And it's a glass. It's not the plastic. The plastic goes around the main headlight. But the cool thing, that's, that's this. Besides the washer, like I say, we do have a wiper, actual wiper. That's insane. That's super cool. And the, the glass, I mean, the headlight on this car, it made this way so you can adjust it. Depends how you want to far away or lower it down. But besides that, all the materials, all the metal, the one they use it on the 90s, in the 90s for Mercedes, it's just insanely uh, high quality. Basically, the bumper, the plastic on this bumper, you can probably make like not 10, but maybe three, four bumpers for the Kia or Hyundai Nova days. But back in the days, it's just like the bulletproof plastic. So you can probably shoot and nothing gonna happen on this bumper. Look at the hood. Look how massive the whole car is. And look the way they made the emblem. And it used to be normal back in the days, but not Nova days. And that's the lock. So basically you open up from the inside and that's the other lock you have to I mean, latch. You have to release it before you're going to open the hood. And under the hood, that's the six-cylinder straight. Uh, nice engine, improved in any ways. And it's not the Kaiji Tronic. That's the one I hate the most, 1994. Because I used to have 1993 with Kaiji Tronic. I mean, I, I don't know if it was somebody replaced it or not. But fuel injector, it's much better. Kaiji Tronic has just given so many problems. But this engine can go 300,000 miles with no problem. Am I gonna face some oil leaks? And that's it. The transmission, it's strong enough for this body. And I think they maybe use different ratio, but if they change it for V8, uh, even V12, there is a V12 engine available on this car it used to be. Transmission, they, I don't think they modified it a lot. So it's a really strong transmission. Look at the parts. I mean, right now you cannot find it. For example, you wanna add some fluid to your power steering what you have to do you have to open the cover like that right remove the nut and you can add it it's like the cup the metal cup full of power steering fluid not like right now now i have to tighten it so all the pipes all the hoses they are still original even the clamps the original mercedes probably from that time because it's 1994 and it looks like 1994 one clamp actually not original but other than that i see all of them in really great shape so and i like 90s i like 90s the technology they they've been trying they've been doing a lot of different things like on the mercedes the one the one i've been reviewing before 210 they have a heater for your windshield fluid it's just insane who else doing the same thing nobody and the mercedes not doing it anymore but back in the 90s I have no idea who else been doing that. Maybe the trucks, the big one, they've been doing kind of such a stuff. So there is an airflow mass sensor and look at the connector. It's not a regular connector. So you have to twist it and only after that you can pull it out. And it's not cheap. So you have to pay money to buy that new part. Maybe the original one's still available, but aftermarket, it's just not working good, especially for the 90s. So all those, all those parts from the factory, they still present. All the stickers 
all on uh, on radiator support they still there they still exist and and it's and it's just cool i mean i like it i like from the 90s all the cars or even 2000s early 2000s when you get in the car and you see all the original stickers all the original parts still on the car still exist and function and well it just impressing me a lot that's cool i mean 320 maybe it's not enough engine for this car but again if i would find sl600 with v12 engine for sure i would buy it not 200,000 miles but the mileage like that maybe i would pay a little bit more money for the car but the point is to have 90s uh the car from 90s with v12 engine the one is running really good and strong that's still impressing me a lot so maybe one day i'm gonna find v12 engine on the mercedes and i'm gonna do the quick review about it or drive it but right now i'm falling in love with this six cylinder straight engine and 59,000 miles on odometer it's just insanely cool so inside this beautiful mercedes is it enough space it's more than enough it's a huge depth the dashboard they used to do it small like this car for example there is some pockets available but not a lot so glove box basically it's not present and we do have a small box right there so by checking that there is always some things you can find interesting from back in the days there is american airlines and a hayat regency so that's basically the places or companies uh, the owner used to use and there's a lot of cool things for example would you have a cassette holder what is that that's to store your uh tape tape cassette right the smoking devices usually it's always here in 90s all the people used to smoke inside the cars right let me close it right now so all the switches they are in a great condition they all still working some cool things for example there is a switch for the steering column it's a little tiny switch after that they've been doing it on a on a door panel to, to adjust your column but here there's a small tiny switch you can barely touch it but it's all working it is power going up and down back and forth the climate control nothing peeling off all the buttons they'll insanely like a new condition they're all working you can switch it from celsium to fahrenheit if you like it the original sound system only speakers are present looks like and i think they've been replaced because i can see it from here from that mesh it's not original so probably whatever sunny they put it here they put it over there replace it that rollover bar usually it goes automatically if the car trying to flip on the top but same time when you open the roof you can open that rollover bar and the car looks just much cooler so this hat maybe it's from the owner but it's kind of cool like a michael jackson style uh if you like that kind of stuff i'm not really a fan of that but again so what about the store compartments there is one available in the middle there is no phone usually in the 90s they already used to have those cell phones in the car but interior it just made for like i don't know 57 years look at the buckle lock latch it's it's not present i mean it's not available nowadays but mercedes is they used to do it special forms and special but i don't know what was technology what was the idea of that but it's not exist anymore look at this handle it's a fully metal chrome piece to open the seat it's obviously no space on the back only for some stuff or to store some things uh, yeah there is some storage available here on, on the other side too but one of the cool part what i found on the door panel that compartment you can open and store some things it has a lock so basically when you live in the car with open top and you want to make sure whatever you put in the pocket of the door it's still secured when you lock in the car there is two pins going and they lock in that compartment that's that's a lot of technology for 90s and for only one door so one of the reasons why i cannot open the roof like i said the glue is not exist anymore and we need to do some the upholstery on this car besides the besides the hinges i have to replace to uh remanufacture i mean to do it again so they're not gonna leak and the work uh and the roof gonna work properly but this is 
I mean, obviously it's nothing because when the roof getting so hot, the glue is just not working anymore. It's getting dry and that's what you're going to get. But I don't think, again, it's not the quality. The quality of the car overall, it's insanely cool. So that's why the car from 1994, 30 years later, still exists in great, perfect shape. So you get in inside the car, you're taking the key, you cycle in the ignition lock. What are you going to hear? That's a fuel pump. It's working outside. And it's making noise. That's cool. Especially you can hear that noise from outside. Means the car is working. Means it is alive. And it's running smooth. There is no misfire. Nothing going on. Like I said, there's a chicken light on. For the airflow mass sensor, it needs to be probably cleaned up and put it back with new air filter. And that problem going to go away. Steering wheel, it's so tight. And it's not the sport car, so same time, uh, same time it's easy to turn, you know. And it's kind of cool. For me, I don't like the huge, the big steering wheels like this. I would do something smaller like AMG or maybe Chinese steering wheel. It's a little bit smaller, but the airbag going to stay the same. But to keep the condition, I mean, to keep the car in original condition, the factory one, so it's going to bring more value for that later on but again it is original so it's always better to keep it the original way the exact mileage we have right now it's a 59,668 miles that means i don't want to go over 60. i might actually gonna go why not that noise from the seats from the leather it's just cool so we're just going to drive it a little bit. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to take it uh, to the freeway and run it on the high speed. Number one, that's the traffic's everywhere. Number two, it's not that fast. So eight seconds, it's like somebody asking you, uh, what's your car making from, 60, uh, from zero to 60? And you're saying, yes. That's the proper answer for the car like that. Because can you make it from zero to 60? Yes, I can. How long is it going to take? Yes, I can. That's it. It's not a fast car. It's just a super nice classic car to drive around with open roof, closed roof, doesn't matter. And people paying attention. Sometimes in the parking lot, people come in and asking what, what year is this car? I mean, it's amazing condition. And you're saying thank you. They appreciate your choice. The car itself appreciating you choose her or him or it doesn't matter you choose this car to keep it longer and enjoy it that's what you get in that kind of car you're not getting it to drive it every day unless un, un, <clears throat> you're not getting this type of car to drive it every day unless you don't care about the value you don't care about something else you just enjoying it and driving it to put some mileage on it and much better than regular so the cool thing from 90s from Mercedes S-Class, they do have the same. It is a power mirror in the middle. So when you're going left, you're going to adjust that mirror. You're going right, you're going to adjust this mirror. But when you're going to stay in the middle and you still want to adjust something, so that's your rear mirror, rear view mirror going to adjust with that sound of motor working. <laughs> that's cool. I think it was so expensive they stopped doing it. I mean, it's so easy just to take the mirror and, you know, switch the, change the position of it. But if we do have that feature in the car, for sure we want to use it because it is just uh, impressive the, the, the way it works. Something gonna fall off? Not really. There is still a sticker exists for Mercedes-Benz 24 hours roadside assistance. I don't think somebody gonna come to you with free help from Mercedes at this time. So when I'm trying to adjust the seat, the driver's seat, it is making kind of weird noises, probably all the, the plastic gears. Like a Counter-Strike. But it is working, I mean, at least it's trying to work. The seat adjusting, going up and down, left and right. The headrest. Ah, 
okay, headrest going up and down with your seat belt. That's cool. What else we can see inside the car? We can only hear the engine and it's running so smooth. The old technology, the much better. But I think for Mercedes, especially SL or, <clears throat> but I think for Mercedes, especially, but I think for Mercedes SL, it's much better if you have a SL 600 with V12 engine. That just super, super cool and powerful for that kind of car. 320, it's good also. Not enough, but it is good. So I hope sooner or later the uh, roof is gonna start working. I can open it and drive it through PCH. So guys, it was amazing W129 Mercedes with only 200 horsepower alive. And uh, pretty much soon, maybe, maybe not really soon, this car gonna be alive for sale. But right now I just wanna keep it and uh, we're gonna do some work on it. And it's just amazingly cool how beautiful this car used to be in the 90s and how amazing to find one as a one owner back in 2023 right now. And it just, it's just cool all the way around all the things whatever you see in the car going on all the switches and mirrors whatever i show it to you it's just insane i mean there is nothing to compare to this car right now there is super hyper cars they are super expensive and super fast but it's not the fast car you don't have to go fast on this mercedes you just have to open the roof and go slowly so everybody can enjoy this beautiful car from the side and those beautiful monoblock rims img original one thank you so much guys for watching me and uh, put some thumbs up, some comments below. You might have the same car like that. And definitely put some comments like what's your experience and how is it going. And see you guys next time.